And here's the thing about this that's so interesting to me. So Abram's 75 years old, and he gets this set of promises from God. I'm going to show you where to go. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make you a nation. I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to bless people who bless you. But it wasn't like there, there's something dramatic attached to it, right? There's a flaming bush. There's an earthquake. There's darkness. There's a pillar of fire. Nothing recorded here at all. It's just like Abram's walking around and hears a voice. Abram, yeah. Now here's why that's important, I think. I think a lot of times people are waiting. There's something that you think God's wanting you to do. You're getting a leading or a prompting from the Holy Spirit of a new course or a new behavior, a new direction. And I think people are waiting for the big flash. If God wants me to do that, he has to light the bush on fire. Now, I'm hoping not your kitchen on fire. I mean, people are waiting for this big dramatic thing. Oh, I'll follow God when God... You don't need to wait for God to do the big thing. God's already spoken to us. He's already told us what he doesn't want us to do, what he doesn't want us to do. Again, not because God's like has to be in charge of your life, because God made us, he knows what's good for us. He set the guardrails up to keep us safe. You don't have to wait for a flash in the sky or a comet.